Hello everybody, my name is Ochara, and this is Songs of Conquest, a tactical turn-based strategy game that just came out on Steam in early access yesterday. This is episode 2 of my Let's Play. Uh, if you haven't seen episode 1, I highly recommend going back and watching that first. But we are Cecilia Stoutheart. We are on the campaign map 1. We started over here, we made our way across. Um, some, some brigands and ruffians took over our stone mines. We have reclaimed them, and now we are going to head down south. And we are going to take out the people who are responsible for arming the rebellion. And we're going to take them out, hopefully. <laughs> That's the plan. So we have in our army, we have eight rangers, we have 12 footmen, we have 50 militia. That's a lot of militia. Militia are fairly strong. Okay, so we get five movement for two turns. It's a lot of extra movement. What do we have down here? Can we get up here? I'm going to assume you have to loop around probably to get up there. Is this anything? No. Ah, I thought that'd be something. No, I can't get up there. So yeah, I'm going to assume that I have to go around. All right, so I guess we head down here then. It appears to be the only way to go. Is this something? I'm not sure. No, that is not something. This is something, though. Cairn. A small band of Cecilia scouts stood waiting along the roadside. Lady Stoutheart, Corporal Greenwood, we come from your warden, Vilia of Thorncliffe, as per your command. Your troops are concealed at the forest edge. Nice. Corporal, this is not the forest edge. These troops are camped within the Tinderwild. You may have served the Fae. Uh-oh. The Fae, my lady? Surely the Fae are only a myth. Superstitions for the country folk. Did my ancestors sign a covenant with mythological creatures? I'm going to go probably not. <laughs> the law of the leaves still stands and we must make sacrifice or break the peace. Consider what we must forfeit to the forest beings to atone for your error. I await your judgment. My life is yours. Okay. Um. Hmm. <laughs> your death would serve no one. If I remember my history... There's an offering tree southwest of here. Join up, Corporal. I need all of my troops, even the ones who make mistakes. Your loyal servant, Lady Stoutheart. Alright, so we get five more rangers. Take them all. Okay, that's good. 13 extra rangers, or 13 total rangers is nice. Wouldn't mind a few extra footmen. I do need to unlock an extra troop slot as well soon. Alright, place an offering at the offering tree, which is... Right here, I assume. Maybe, probably. All right, let's keep going to the Cairn. Um, plus one offense, plus one defense. Is that permanent? Cause that'd be pretty cool if that was permanent. All right, let's go to the Archway Ruins first. Not sure why. I'm not sure if this was our most, uh, most efficient route. Cecilia examined the strange arch. She noticed it was almost warm to the touch and vibrated slightly. She's studied many strange ruins from the times of Aurelia, but never one that seems so alive. Huh. 650 experience. Okay. Let's head over this way, which we probably should have did first, honestly. That's fine. What do we have here now? An old camp. 12 militia. We are capped. We have 50 of 50 militia, so we are going to take the gold. Right? I think that makes sense. Here... Okay, gold or militia, we're going to take the gold. And a large camp. Rangers, okay. We are definitely going to take the rangers. So we're at 19 of 20 rangers now. Can we get to the offering tree this way, or do we got to go around the other way? Looks like we can get to it this way. I hope, anyway. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that's not the offering tree. That is some giant mushrooms. Oh, the offering tree is down here. We got Fey Spirits. A threat level is unknown. They're between 1 and 25 in number. Let's go to this waterfall first. No, I think we're going to have to go through these Fey Spirits. Ooh, should I go to this treasure chest first? No, let's go. Let's go do this first. All right, combat will be next turn. All right, let's do some combat. Hopefully these things aren't too strong. Bay Spirits, flying creatures of the Tinderwild. 
with bat-like wings. Long claws and sharp teeth swooped and buzzed before the offering tree. They wore strange masks and screeched to Cecilia and her troops. Well, that sounds fun. Humans be gone. We wish to leave an offering for a trespass in the forest, as is stated in the ancient covenant between us. Stand aside, little spirits. I would do my duty. No humans. No never. Spirits, do not trifle with me. I am stout heart, and by the agreements I seek to make amends. If you continue to impede my passage to the offering tree, I will draw arms and put you out of your misery. Well, that seems like that would help, right? We're already in their debt, so let's kill a bunch more, because that'll definitely help, you know, pay off our debt. <laughs> you are misery. Misery. So be it. All right, so there's going to be 11 to 25 base spirits, so let's just hope they're not very strong. Let's put you in the middle. Let's do a manual battle. Threat level is easy, so we could try quick battle, but I don't think I'm far enough along to be doing quick battles yet. I, I kind of like the battle system. I'm trying to get a feel for it, right? All right, so there's a lot of little stacks of them, so hopefully... And they're quick. Wow, they're really quick. They always move first. We should be able to take out, hopefully... Well, Militia will definitely be able to take out a group of them. You got to think. Do four there. Take out this group of four. We're on the low ground, those. Yeah, we're fine. Um, are they all out of range? Oh, they're close though. All right, so if we step up to here, yeah, a couple them in range. Boom. Um, let's see if we can take out the group of four. Okay, so it's just the two little groups of three left. Okay, oh, well, we did lose three. We lost seven rangers. That kind of sucked. But, I mean, we won at least, I guess. But, mm, I would have rather lose militia than rangers. <laughs> the thing with the militia is their crossbowmen, they need to reload them after they shoot them. After they shoot them, so they can only shoot every second turn, right? So, yeah. All right, so we can do learning. Increased XP gains again. Or troops gain melee offense. Or I'm going to do command. I've been putting off command. Once I want to do learning again, I think I, I want to get that fourth slot. In my army unlocked. In case I find something good. Speaking of something good, there's an artifact over there. And some money. Eleven hundred gold, worn boots, plus one movement, plus one view radius. I will take that. I kind of like the sound of that, honestly. Stone circle. For the next battle, we get ten offense, ten defense, and two extra movement. That seems good. All right, here's the offering tree. Hopefully, we don't have to fight down here. The offering tree was the most unusual tree Cecilia had ever seen. Her friend Vilia of Thorncliffe had described them once but had not done them justice. The branches were smooth and glossy and seemed to be lit from within. Leaves tinkled like tiny bells in the breeze and most uncommon, the tree gave off the aroma of warm spiced cider like her mother would give her when she was small. Okay. Bay of the forest, for trespass upon your woods, we offer compensation. For, though, for these face spirits slain, I ask forgiveness. They cannot be reasoned with. Let our peace be everlasting. All right, so we give him a thousand gold. That's fine. We have like seventy four hundred. Hopefully, it was enough. Okay, looks like three offense, three defense. I assume that's permanent. Which seems good. All right, so let's get out of here. We've been to the giant mushrooms already, right? Yeah. Um, where have we not been? We haven't been to this waterfall. Get this gold. I'm pretty sure I've already started here, right? Ooh. Gives me something different this time. Extra damage, extra troop movement, but less defense. That's kind of... Not sure how good that really is. Right? <laughs> Pick up the bag of gold. 500 gold. Go down. Grab, check these old bones. We got a round shield. 
swipe defense. I will take that. Especially since we have reduced defense this next battle. 1300 gold I will take. Um, I already went here, right? Yes, I did. That's not a thing, right? No. So let's go here to the Aurelian Milestone. Plus two movement. Oh, we got Barian Mercenaries. They're between 25 and 100 in number. That is a lot. Um, looks like our only real play is to go through them, though. So let's do that. I believe I... Do I have to fight them? Probably. They're considered easy, though. Which is nice. Guarding the road was a large force of mercenaries hailing from the merchant states of Beria. Beria? Beria. Turn back. The road is open for ore shipments from Flint Hills only. Well, those are my hills, so... I see we're strangers to these lands, or you would know me as a lawful baron of Stoutheart. I do not recall a declaration of war from Berrien city-states. Therefore, you are thieves and trespassers. What other crimes shall I add to the list? We have committed no crimes. We are honorable mercenaries, here on contract and merely following orders. Whose orders? Is what I would like to know. I spit on your contract. Okay, well she's not quite as diplomatic as I am. <laughs> you have my ore, therefore you are thieves. You will return it, tell me who hired you, and maybe I will ransom you back to your employers. I have a feeling I'm going to have to fight them. We are not afraid to fight you, Stoutheart, but be warned. Our contract states that no one wearing Stoutheart colors are to be spared on the field of battle. Of course, if you turn around now, we can avoid this battle. Never. You shall be treated as thieves and trespassers, and my sword will deliver justice for breaking our laws. Then, unfortunately, we must battle. Bring it on. I don't want to lose any more, though. Pike, pike nears? Pike nears? A bevy of them. Uh, yeah, that is 35 pike nears. How far can they get? So right here is safe, I believe. Let's just go here. And we don't have any spells yet, so... Oh, no, they can reach me there. Crap. That is very unfortunate. Okay, well, this is in his deadly range. Um, target troop gets less damage. Let's put that on you. And finish you off. Oh, man, I'm losing all my footmen, or whatever they're called. Alright, so they can't do anything this turn. I'm getting, my troops are getting whittled down here. If I don't find a way to replenish my troops soon, I could be in danger. I should have realized with the with the pikes that they could reach farther. Should have realized, but I didn't. 4,000 XP to level up. That's a lot. All right, well, we got through it. We did it. We lost a lot, though. No survivors remain, but sifting through the ashes, some re resources are found. 500 gold, 2 stone, 2 wood. Road sign. Gives me extra movement and some XP. Another burnt building. Man, they burnt everything here. Sicilia's troops searched the smoking remains of Hope's Glade, looking for survivors. The townsfolk had clearly put up a fight, but for that they had suffered. Unfortunate. From the rubble, they heard a moan and then covered a badly injured militiaman. Lady Stoutheart, we held as long as we could. We had to retreat. They were too strong. Who did this? Brian's? Troop of Brian mercenaries marched on towards Barkspur. But it were knights that attacked us. Men of Arleon, setting fire to our homes, taking no surrender. All we could do was flee to the hills north of here. Damn, Arleon. The wounded man, wounded man tried to speak, then fell limp. His eyes glazed over as the last sliver of strength left his body. Got to him just in time. His essence is in the wind, but Stoutheart still stands. Come, there are survivors here yet. Let's search the hills before we journey south to Barracksburg. It's time to put an end to this. Hopefully we can uh, replenish our troops a bit. Okay, there's some more gold. More gold. 
nothing there we can do? No. Field not anything? Nope. Okay, these buildings hopefully will let us recruit some people. I need some more people. Worn gloves plus one defense. Do I have anything in that slot? Uh, there's a way to check. No, we did not have anything in that slot. I mean, it's only one defense, but I'm still going to take it. All right, another burnt building. More gold, stone, and wood. More gold, stone, and wood. All right, let's go to the tavern. As they reached the top of the hill, they found a sturdy tavern and the soot-covered, injured, and scared survivors of Hope's Glade. From among them, a minstrel stood out and greeted Cecilia. Hail, do my eyes deceive? The Baroness of Stoutheart to grant reprieve. If you mean to avenge these foul knights, then we brave souls will join your fight. Good. <laughs> and with your aid, so Stoutheart will stand, returning peace and order to the land. Ah, eh, we did a rhyme, just like he did. Five movement. Did we actually get anybody there, though? Here we go. There's minstrels. So 30 of them would be 6,300. Um, what do they do? Two to four damage. They have an ability that gives defense to friendlies. Um, they have a ranged attack? Looks like they're melee only. Melee, yeah, melee offense 12, defense 6. So they're squishy. They're quite squishy, but I mean, we need somebody, right? Like, my uh, army is pretty picked clean, I guess you could say at the moment. All right, end our turn. Be nice to get some more footmen. I still have gold. I think I got everything in here, right? I didn't miss anything. No, I missed this burnt building. Yeah, 500 gold, 2 stone, 2 wood. I'll take it. Uh, anything through here? No, it's just this early in milestone. Extra 2 movement. We will take that. Oh, can I get over here? Oh, i got to go around. All right, well, well, we'll make our way that way, maybe. Oh, no, what's going on here? Here's Barkspur. Gazing across the lake, Cecilia saw the settlement of Barkspur. It was clearly occupied by another force of Brian mercenaries, this one led by a wielder. Scary. She readied her soldiers for the final, batter, final battle to retake this region. Bah. Words are hard, apparently. All right, so... Oh, I was going to say... I was going to say, I'm going to, I'm not going to rush right in. Um, but apparently he's not going to let me. So I was going to explore, see if there's anything, any, you know, resources, items, places to get more troops. So he's got pipers, musketeers, and pikeneers. Okay, so the pikeneers, got to remember that they have that range of two, right? With their melee. So we got to stay back. Oh, that's, that's a lot, I feel like. All right, so our minstrels. Oh, wow, do I get a turn here ever? Holy crap. Um, oh, these guys don't get close enough to do anything. That sucks. These guys can attack here, at least. I might lose this. Honestly. This, yeah, this is... Um, I'm not sure I'm going to win. <laughs> so I could give somebody extra initiative. Um, 
Ooh, don't want to give extra initiative too. That guy's already moved. Maybe give you extra initiative. Oh, he still moves like last. Unfortunately. Okay, no, I think we'll survive. I think our our watch McCall's will survive. Our minstrels. So if we step back. Okay. They're reloading, so they can't do anything. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to survive, but if there is another fight, <laughs> I don't have a lot left. Oh, wait. So we got a whole lot. Swap places between two target troops. Maximum distance can be three. Get our pacify. All friendly troops get extra melee offense and less defense. Target enemy range troops gets less range. Let's hit that guy with that. Um. And if I give this guy extra movement, does he actually get in there to attack this turn? Looks like he does. That's good. All right, this guy, yeah. This guy's not gonna be, oh, I should have moved him last turn. I didn't even think. Got him closer. New round. All right, let's kill them. Then we step up here. Man, this, these militia really do not have big movement. Oh, no, they got the job done. Perfect. All right, we won. But I'm hoping it's over because we don't have we don't have much left. If I'm being honest. Well, not that much experience either. I was kind of, I don't know, I thought, I thought it'd be more experience. After the battle, a beaten Namander Breeze is brought before Cecilia. Wielder. We appeal to your honor and beg that we may negotiate a surrender. I am Namander Breeze of the Course Battalion and a stranger to these parts. I concede the field and will withdraw my forces. You better... You were indeed a stranger, Orion, or you would know by my colors that I am Cecilia Stoutheart. Was it your weapons that armed the bandits who caused the uprising at my mines? There was a misunderstanding, my lady. We were led to believe by our employer that they had a lawful claim on these lands. When we realized our betrayal, we had already signed the contract. By the mercenary code, we could not withdraw our services. Very convenient for them. Reveal to me your employer and their plans. If I'm satisfied with your answer, I will spare you. But every Brian of your company must leave my lands immediately. Or join me. They could join me if they want. I'd be okay with that. It was Lady Hammond that hired us. The Topaz Battalion is sent to recover Ashbourne. We are grateful for your mercy, Lady Stoutheart. So the mercenary code doesn't prevent them from being a snitch, though, I guess. <laughs> Whatever works for me. May the steel bring good force into each party. The information is adequate. I will spare your life and instead send you to prison in Castle Everkeep. There you may contemplate that honor might be worth more than gold. Corporal, this is your chance to redeem yourself for your error in the Tinder world. Take two squads and transport Captain Demander Breeze to Everkeep until we can arrange for his ransom. You can depend upon me, Lady Stoutheart. Victory! All right. With the Bark Spur restored to Stoutheart, rule of law. Cecilia gathered her troops once more and set out to pursue the Topaz Battalion and prevent the occupation of Ashbourne. For this, she would need the aid of Vilia of Thorncliffe, Warden of Stoutheart, and Cecilia's longtime friend. Beautiful. Oh, cutscene. Fancy. Not a bad looking cutscene for a little um, four person dev team. <laughs> That's right. 
to crush rebellions and push back another rap star. Yeah, don't play with Cecilia Stoutheart. Don't mess around here at Stoutheart. Yes, we do. Man, that guy's really playing the heck out of that loot. Cool. All right. Mission two, let's go. Construct towers to be able to field a garrison force if your town or settlement is attacked. Makes sense. As Cecilia's forces hurried along the road to Thorncliff, they could hear the sounds of battle in the nearby woods to the south. She urged her troops on. Alright, so we have... Can I combine these? Do I want to combine them? They might have been separate for a reason. All right, so we retain all our gear. We retain all our level ups. We lost our rangers, but I assume that's because we like sent them away as part of the story. But you know what? 26 minutes, that's a good uh, video length. I'm going to end here. This is a good spot to end. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Helps me out a lot. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more Songs of Conquest. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.